Hi, my name is Chris, aka The Philosopher's Games, and yesterday were the Game Awards 2021, or today, depending on your time zone, and they showed a new trailer called A Split Personality for the upcoming The Lord of Rings Gollum game by Daedalic Entertainment. And I decided to give you my few impressions I have. It's not a very long teaser or trailer, and let's just have a look at it and I talk a little bit over it. And you see here we already have the basic concept of this trailer. He switches personalities from his darker personality of Gollum, maybe his more, yeah, let's say, Hobbit-like personality, um, Smeachol or Smeagol. Let's stick to Smeagol for the Make it easier to say. Old English pronunciation, that was a bit different. And here's it again. And now he switches back to the other personality, discusses with himself, and then does very evil things and just put the fire, lava, whatever you want to call it, molten iron or whatever it is, um, over those nasty orcs. And you see Gollum in itself is a very evil creature. There is like, you, we can read, we discussed this in the last trailer analysis I did, maybe I should also get rid of the uh, sound for the time being, that um, Gollum as a, as a very evil creature, it was like he was in the forest where he was um, doing his thing, he, he was became known or people feared like he was like a ghost with a one ring like a bloodthirsty ghost and um, even sneaked up to cradles. So, yeah, very horrifying. And it shows just what an evil, twisted creature Gollum is, in a way, and makes it him also a very interesting creature to maybe make a game um, about him. And this is, in my opinion, a very interesting the uh, scene. And I ask myself, how is this put into the game, like, mechanically? So is it just... In, in, in cutscenes, is it just in, um, is it just, I don't know, in, in, in the dialogue of the game when he just maybe comments on what he's currently doing and then he switches back and forth? Or is there actual a meaningful gameplay perspective of this where you maybe get new options, new interactions in the world when your more evil, or when Gollum's more evil side um, comes through? It, it would be relatively interesting. He looks so disappointed and innocent. Oh no! I couldn't catch the helmet, and then he switches back and gets... Anyway, it's, it's really well done. I have to say that the, the design of Gollum looks a bit strange at times here. This scene, for example, I really like. I think this is a pretty... It looks good, but there are some others where it doesn't look that good. And it also seems like they changed the design. But however, um, still, I think the, the split personality definitely comes through in the trailer. It's um, decently... Um, um, done, in my opinion, and yeah, on the on the um, on the point of his design changing, maybe we can uh, switch a bit to this uh, other scene here. Look at him; he looks a bit different. If we would compare this to the uh, other trailer, let me just see if I can switch. Oh, that was the wrong button. This should work. I think this is the right trailer. I hope I prepared it correctly. Yeah. Here you see, um, you see only from behind though, but it seems he looks a bit different here in this trailer, in this older version. So it seems like they have not really um, gotten to also spider warning for this trailer. I mean, they really haven't gotten down his his design, maybe because it's just this looks more like in-game graphics. But yeah, you see, he looks a bit different, like his hands are on looks tiny bit different if we would compare this to this uh, other scene here. But as I said, the, the fidelity is it's a rendered scene, it's uh, or, or potentially like a, a CGI um, a scene that's uh, pre-rendered instead of real-time uh, game footage. As a result, um, he looks, of course it looks uh, a bit better, but it feels like the, the design here compared to the other one um, looks slightly uh, different, which is... Um, Interesting. Also, here's the spider warning, but just very short. We have some spiders here and there. But maybe it's it's basically the same, and it's just limitations of the uh, engines and so on. 
it also seems like they have the round helmets for the um, orcs, which um, seems to be similar to the other scene too. But it seems like some aspects of the uh, designs definitely uh, changed. Um, if we now go even further back to the original teaser trailer that was first shown, um, we, we again see a somewhat different design, like his face looks even in this... Um, re-rendered CGI scene uh, a bit different than it did in just the recent trailer. But maybe I'm wrong. Let's have a closer look at it. For the quality. You see his eyes and so on. If we, we saw something similar. Here you see his face. It looks really kind of different compared to uh, what we uh, just uh, saw. So we see like three different... Um, styles for him. I have to say this here looks by far the best in my opinion compared to the others. They definitely improved though. I would say in game it might look different. I think it comes also for the uh, last generation of consoles. Uh, of course not that powerful. And it, on top of this, this is like the Delic Entertainment. Like, this is not a triple A studio with 700 people working for the, on this game for five years or something. That's not um, the case. It's a small studio known for point and click adventures, and this is basically like a big endeavor going to the to making a 3D game instead of this hand drawn th great point and click adventures, and more uh, complex game and a stealth action game, which they I think also never really did. So this is new. So I expect this game to be a little bit janky, as you would call it, good old Euro jank. Some uh, people would um, call it, and uh, don't expect like the yeah, you see PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. So uh, it, it's tune down your expectations maybe a little bit. And I just hope the, the game is technically at least decent for the size of the studio and maybe the ambitions and just is a decent game. But don't expect like the biggest thing ever, I guess. That's at least uh, what I do. <laughs> I definitely don't expect like a perfect game. Though they have um, a lot of things to cover in some of the texts of the um, videos. You, um, and we can uh, look into it. Let me just pause it for a moment. Other than you. Um, if we go down here, it says um, he's a slave in the Dark Tower. So. If we look into um, Appendix B of Lord of the Rings, Gollum gets, uh, he gets, uh, he's captured. Let me just go back to this mode and maybe I can read this in the background. Definitely help. Um, he gets captured, I think, 3009. So third age, 3009, he's, uh, he's kept, he ventures into uh, Mordor deeper and is captured by Sauron. And only in 3017, Gollum is, re Gollum is released. So eight, round about eight years later. So there's, there's eight years in Dark Tower and Mordor at least. And even before that, he goes to Mordor quite um, early, I think. As he starts going there as early as two, uh, 2951. And we discussed this in, in the last one, uh, in the last uh, uh, section and so on. So, yeah, he is definitely... Uh, in into uh, in in Mordor or at least for for, for Mordor already for quite some for quite a long time, and as a result, there is definitely a lot of things. And then three seventeen he's released, and then um, in three eighteen he, then he's captured again. And three eighteen he escapes from Thranduil's halls, which we also just uh, read there. So they have multiple stations, and at the end we can also read um, the untold uh, story which is very interesting. Another detail we noticed is um, in some of these uh, scenes, if you look carefully here, for example, you see that he has, m here it looks like, you can stop it correctly, he has like four teeth and um, there's like another scene, here this one, you see he has also there's, there are teeth below, but in The Hobbit, it, if it would be 100% accurate, uh, it states in the chapter Riddles in the Dark that he only has um, six teeth and uh, he has more. So there should, if you have four teeth on top, there should be two teeth left in theory though. But maybe this has 
could potentially have animation reasons or whatever that maybe there needs to be another layer of polygon there whatever i don't know i'm not an expert on that but it's also just a very unnecessary small detail but at least in, in these scenes it looks like he has not all his teeth which makes uh, sense but i think that's um all i have to say about um this little trailer it's very short we already discussed the last trailer and the gameplay in quite a bit of detail um tr just um went through some of the details again there's not much new to know i really like um how this the idea of of his split personality bringing force a bit more and making it a part of the game hopefully also in some meaningful way in the, that it's part of the stealth action of the stealth mechanics to maybe get other options that are maybe more destructive more aggressive when he switches personalities or so it, maybe there's like a weird skill tree that either fits to his less evil side or his more evil side but um yeah i kind of i have to admit especially this scene i really uh like like you you see him struggle with with himself and he suddenly phases out when danger is uh, going on to his more evil side and look 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 at his face how 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 he looks down just pushes the 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 lever and knows yeah i would just kill those um these those almost poor um <laughs> orcs and we know orcs are also quite nasty beings so there's uh, definitely that and Sometimes then he switches a back and forth. If you compare this to his expression, he has like like this. Oh no, the helmet! And he knows I don't get the helmet. Oh no! And then it's um, evil golem time, or dealing with the uh, bad situation here. <laughs> I don't know. I really, I really like that. This, this struggling, this back and forth. It's a. It's definitely part of this character. I hope they portray it well, but. This at least looks distantly decent, and I just expect a cool little adventure um, with Gollum exploring some of these little details from the, for example, Appendix B um, section of Lord of the Rings uh, would be uh, pretty awesome. But um, enough rambling here. I rambled um, already more than enough. I hope you people enjoyed this little first impressions, trailer reaction video, whatever you want to call it or whatever I will call it when I upload this. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you liked it, please press the like button. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think of the trailer. Maybe also of the um, Game Awards, how it went for you. I think it was were quite decent this year. Um, also, tell me your expectations of uh, the game and so on. And what's coming up next on my channel? Well, I'm still... Did a lot of editing today, still um, on the um, part two of the Elrond video yesterday. I was invited over at um, my colleague and friend uh, Robert in Deep Geek, and we had a nice discussion over three hours long about answering questions about Third Age law of Lord of the Rings and, and Tolkien's universe. So if you like that, uh, maybe check um, his channel out and um, his the VOD of the stream is already up. Be free to uh, watch that too. I also did a last live stream, I don't know, some time ago. Also five hours long if you haven't seen that. Maybe check the Elrond video part one. Elrond video, uh, Elrond part, who is Elrond part two will come out soonish. I hope I'm making good progress, but editing still we will eat some time because it will be three, two and a half hours and takes forever to edit those uh, long videos. Also, add some some new ideas I always wanted to add to the video on the on the visual side. You will probably find out what that is. Might be helpful for some people. And yeah, you know the stuff I'm doing. As I said, I'm quite busy. That also um, destroys a bit my streaming schedule on Twitch, which is um, very unfortunate. If anything big happens, like another news thing or so, I might move this in between the, the release and delay the other round video a little bit more. But I, I don't expect that uh, to happen. And this Gollum video just uh, popped up and I thought, okay, yeah, maybe make a little first impressions live recording video like this. 
and I hope you enjoyed this. So thank you again for watching. Fantastic rest of the uh, fantastic rest of the day to, to all of you, and see you next time. Goodbye.